Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Krishna Gopal. In this video, we are going to perform ADS data visualization by considering the data set from the Kaggle. This is the 2021 Kaggle machine learning and data science survey. Actually, uh, this is a competition which can improve your data visualization skills as well as some kind of coding in the Python. So, let's without wasting the time, we start the video. This is the first part of a data analysis and data visualization i hope we cover this competition and build a very good visualization report at the end of this uh, playlist so let's start and jump to the competition so right now i am in the phase of a uh, of this competition in the Kaggle. so what you can do you can if you are new in this platform you can go and read about the description of this uh, of this survey and uh, now in the short I, I want to say in this survey we have a lot of things we have a lot of questions so let's first see what kind of data set we have in the Kaggle so how we start this competition we can go to the code and we can go to the new notebook from and then we, and then we can start our session by clicking here so this is the notebook uh, inside the Kaggle and we're going to perform all the data analysis and data visualization in this in this one so for the visualization and for the basic analysis let me import some libraries and the starting of the cell so pandas and numpy are the basic libraries numpy is basically used for the perform the mathematical operation and pandas is used basically to handle the data frame then the next we are library we import for the visualization that is mostly commonly known as the matplotlib so I import matplotlib matplotlib dot plot as plt as well as i am import the seaborn import seaborn as sns so for now we just import this uh, library so now it, uh, we load the data from the kettle directory in this notebook so let's see how we do we define one variable that is df and we use the panda that is a pd not read csv as you know the data come in the csv file then go to this uh, last in the, your right go to the kaggle survey and this is your csv copy the file path you can see the top five rows of the data frame that is a df dot head so this is the data frame you get from by loading in the from the kaggle directory so if you see in this data frame or if you go again and see the Kaggle directory we have this uh, sub we have the question answer choice what is the q1 q2 q3 and q4 and up to the last and the methodology is there you know need, uh, if you are interested go and read the problem statement and the description of the problem you get to know very easily but what are the questions is there already i load it here so this is the main survey like what is the question one, what is your age, question two is what is your gender. So this data frame contains a lot of questions and the, so once we see this data frame at the first look, we see it's not much uh, good to see like Q1 and then we have an equation in the first row. So uh, for the data understanding, I don't want this much big text, uh, this much big text in my data frame. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this row from the my data frame. So how I will do this first? No need to drop anything. We just do the slicing operation here. So df is equal to df, and now that's that's all what we want. So the q1 is a 50, 54, 50, 54, 20, 24. What is q1? If you want to know what is q1, you go to here and you see the q1 is what is your age. That is Q1 is the age distribution. So in this data frame uh, for 2021, I would like to check what is the age distribution and what are the age counts for every age distribution in this uh, data frame. Before perform any kind of a data analysis or data visualization, we should have an, a one baseline like with what kind of uh, with what baseline we're going to perform this data analysis. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the gender distribution across the, the all the all the things like uh, how many male male how many male and female we have in India and in US or in other countries. How many male and female we have in the uh, who know the Python or who know who are the software engineer who complete the bachelor degree so we're going to perform what i mean to say overall we're going to perform the all over the analysis based on the gender distribution so let's see how we perform this 
so the first question is what is your age before it move to the male and female analysis let me see what is the overall the age distribution of the of the uh, of in this data set is given so for this what i'm going to do uh, this is very simple so df because this is your q1 what are you going to do you can uh, just simply pass the value from this is the python uh, this is the pandas uh, function values uh, value bounds now you can see the 25 to 29 contain the 4931 pupils who is there who is in 25 to 29 similarly the 70 plus is you have the 128 people but base but uh, showing this result to somebody it's not much more interpretable if you use some visualization and so show to somebody so how are we going to perform the visualization as already been for the c1 c1 is a of the good functionality so uh, we're going to perform it uh, before that uh, we define the figure size so the figure we define the ax1 that is axis and the plt dot then we are uh, going to call the library that is sns dot uh, plot you have to define your x what is your x in the x axis you want to keep the age group so what do you need to do so p after q1 we copy from here p and, pass. and what you want to pass you want to pass the index right this is the index you want to keep in the x axis Whereas in the y axis, what you want to keep, you want to keep their values. See how the result come. Okay, this is good, looking good at the first view. But uh, I want with the same color. I not want the with different different colors. So what I do, I give the color that I want in the orange red. Orange red. I want to see the label also. I want to give the label because in the data analysis, the label and the your uh, x axis label y axis label the title of the graph is very important and play a very important role to the people who who just want to understand what your data is, is speaking through the visualization so keep in the point or make uh, this not you have always keep the label and the x label y label title and and the reason in the in any kind of a graph which you draw so the label is what label we have to say the is distribution is distribution right and let's see it okay we, i give the label but i not see what the, my label is here so what's the problem you have to be pass your reason so plt dot reason once i pass i see but it's very small I want to increase the size so here I have to give the font size the font size of 126 super this is what we get now similarly I have to define the x label and the y label also so how we define the x and y label we just simply pass plt dot uh, in the x size and the x axis we want uh, it is a as group so we just give the as group and in the y label we want the as count We also want to give the title so plt dot title you can say you can just put any title so what you want to say is you can change according to you nothing is coming in my mind that's why we gave is in 2021 what i what what you can do more you can last part the plt dot show but uh, if you want to give this font size so what you do font size that is 20 you give so you get the overall the picture is like that but uh, suppose I, i'm seeing the 18 to 21 years so what is actually a number i i i didn't notice what is the actually number i want to see what is actually number at the 70 plus is people so it's much more better if you make your graph in that way like anybody any outsider can understand okay this is your graph and this is your number in the different age group that is what is the power of data visualization that we have to be show over the data analysis through the data visualization so then don't forget to mention the numbers what is the age uh, what is the age count in 25 to 29 of years so let me let me show you how you can do that one and that is a uh, basically what I want to say that uh, plt dot annotate you can go and uh, read uh, this documentation in the matplotlib side 
that is the annotating plots you have to go and read about it i just show you the simple sample so what you going to do here there is a function called the enumerate and the python so if you use this enumerate the enumerate is give us the index also and the value corresponding to index so here i am going to use the function enumerate let's see how we can use the enumerate function so suppose this is our values values dot count so what i'm going to do uh the values okay so i get the values and for index for my value in enumerate so you can see the index zero you have this value now you want this value should come here that's what you want so how we going to do we going to use the enumerate function now the enumerate function have the some uh, kind of uh, what to say the first uh, position that come that number so what you want to pass you want to pass the value right then it's come the x core x y coordinate so x, what is the x y coordinate you want to pass you want to pass that uh, index comma uh, value now you want this number should be in the big size and what you want we want it should be come in the center right so for the center and the big size what we're going to do we prefer we're going to give some values to fetch a outcome center here as you, as you wish like this way you can do but if you see here this is not looking is still good because some part is covering in the bar i want to see about the bar so what i do what, what, I, what I will do i just uh, push it uh, i push the value to 100 now this look good yes this look very good now more what you can do from here what you can do from here with this bar graph because you want to make this bar graph so that everybody can understand you can for if possible you can show the mean line as well in this bar graph so for this what you going to do um, there is a very simple thing okay, uh, let me show you the line plot the index is the same and values dot mean i think it will work okay so this is the age distribution mean you have even you can play the more you can change this straight line to something different that's why i leave on you how you will perform it so why we draw the mean line here because in this we can see the if you see like uh, age group from 40 years and more than 40 years these pupils are less than the total uh, age people of uh, in the given data set so that's the reason it's a good practice if you show the statistically how much uh, properties you can show in the visualization i hope you like this graph and uh, uh, something you learned in this video in the next video again i'll be going to do the more analysis and we will perform the more analysis uh, in the next video i hope you like this video if you like this video then don't forget to the next video where we are going to discuss about the what are the male and the female in the e in the different age uh, group and we're going to see the how we perform the data visualization so up to that uh, take care and we'll meet you soon in the next video thank you to watch this video thanks bye bye